Hello, welcome back. Monday morning. Guys are already beavering away. Christina's up on the scaffolding, scraping all the paint off of the walls. Deb is clearing up the mess on the floor. James has disappeared somewhere. And I'm going back on that roof. the bricks they're in place so they do fit but I did make a schoolboy error by not making the hole big enough I could have done with another centimeter all the way around and then that would have been perfect and of course because of that bow that's going through there I'm gonna to have to rectify that and get that nice and straight so I may be able to make up for that little gap that I need to expand on the plan was to render all the way around the inside of that and then put the bricks in afterwards so I think I can make good of that it's just a bit of a shame because it's going to take me a couple of hours now to rectify it and that's something that I could have avoided earlier on so given that it looks all right but I could have done better I think I'll give myself a five out of ten for wasting those two hours it's going to take me to rectify it but I'm pretty confident that it's going to look really good when it's done
Right, we've got a gap now, a nice gap all the way around. Took a little bit of time, but it was definitely worth it because now going forward, it'll make our life a lot easier. And I'm gonna end it for today on that one. I'm gonna come back tomorrow and do the bricks across the top there because I can't be bothered to mix up some cement at the moment. Well, it's nice and cool down here. So over the weekend, Bert got something caught in his ear. Happens every year without fail. And it was over the weekend, which meant that the vets were closed and I couldn't get it out. So I eased it by putting some of this liquid stuff in his ear. And uh, that seemed to ease the pain a little bit. And then, hence yesterday, when I stopped a little bit earlier, I had to take it to the vets and get it pulled out. So now he is fully recovered and looking a lot happier today. So I'm very relieved with that one. But we're back here at the house and the plan is to get some bricks up over the top of that window that I built and then start boarding up. Now, mixing up cement isn't fun at the best of times. I'd like to just turn up and have it all really mixed for me, but it's only because getting extension leads running to it, getting the water to it and so on, it's just a flaff. And I was just about to start and I realized we run out of cement. So that's now gonna delay me by another hour because I've gotta go back to the house, get the car, go and get some cement, come back here again, and then we'll start. So obviously I'm no pro bricklayer. I haven't done too much in my life. So I had to just go slowly and make sure that they're all in place. The one thing I did have to do is as the wall goes up further, it actually goes in at slight angles. So I had to make sure that the bricks were at that angle as well. So when we're rendering all of this across the top here, then they're not jarring out. So now what I've got to do is, uh, <laughs> it's really uncomfortably hot. 
is um, do another, unfortunately, another mix of cement. Then in that gap down there, I'm just gonna cement in stones, bits of old brick, anything at all, just to bring it up to the same height as the rest of it. And then I can board it all up. such a lovely view over there. Don't really spend too much time looking in that direction. Just this morning, pondering on it, thinking, that's really nice. I don't know if it comes across in the camera because obviously I'm seeing it in 3D and I've got the depth of field on there as well. Definitely something I'm gonna enjoy looking at further down the line, but in the meantime, I have to sort this roof out. So I've got this metal work all the way around, but there is one bit that I still need to attach ready and waiting for me and that's what I'm going to do now but first of all I've got to just chisel out a few little bits just next to the chimney there and just here where I put the brick in I'm going to just cut that away a little bit so that it all runs in a nice even flat line and then I can start boarding up in this room So we're on to Thursday and I was hoping to be a little more advanced going forward this week and hopefully we're trying to make sure that we could get the concrete poured in today and tomorrow but because I made a little mistake around that window and I needed to rectify that that slowed us down and the inevitable which is whenever you're doing preparing work it always takes a little bit longer and you don't want to rush it because you don't want to make any mistakes. So I think at this point of time, I'm going to just make sure that I get it all boarded up ready for Monday 
and we'll have a fresh start then because there's nothing worse than pouring a bit of concrete on a Friday, going into a weekend, coming back on a Monday and having to carry on where you left off. I'd rather have a fresh start. So it has been a little bit of a slow progress week. James has been working in the house uh, doing the chasing for the electric sockets and stuff. So we have spent a bit of time away from camera just planning where we want all the light switches and plug sockets. It's such an easy thing to make a mistake with. So we had to walk around and just imagine where the bed would be, for instance, where you want the sofa, where the television would be, and where would be the best point for all of those plug sockets and how many light switches when you walk in and out of a room, where do you want them to be? We also needed to work out the plumbing as well. So we have as short a distance as possible to go to the outside waste and make sure that where the water comes into the house that we knew exactly what direction and route all the water was going to go in. So now we've got that sorted out, it means further down the line we can actually now just get on with it and not have to plan it again. Or at least have a little run through before we start. But getting that out of the way takes a little bit of time and it is that, I guess, the bits that you don't see behind the scenes that are the really important things that you have to work out first and foremost. So I'm going to carry on now I need to get some more rebar so I can just finish off one more part of the roof. James needs some as well so that he can put some columns in that lounge area where he knocked the walls down. And then hopefully I'll see if I can get that all boarded up by the end of tomorrow or even today. We'll see how we get on but it is hot and that is slowing us down as well. Rebar, rebar. That's that sorted stones and sand coming tomorrow morning at eight o'clock. Let's get back to the house. Getting that metal work up there is such a relief. Now I need to start boarding this up and in this area here, because it's attached to the neighboring house, the easiest thing for me to do is use the old doors. And then I'll use the old wood beams that were coming down here just to prop them up, make sure that when we put concrete in that they don't fall back down this way. And it's putting that first one up that's the tricky part. Once that's done and I know it all works, then I can uh, hopefully speed around here pretty quick. But I'm gonna have a little break first of all because I'm hot, need some water and uh, a little bit to eat. Right, this will be fun. Thank you. 
not the best area to be working on. We are getting there slowly, slowly, bearing in mind I'm not a builder. I don't have a builder's background, so I have to take my time and make sure that I get it all right. And that is a slower process. I was just looking at the brickwork here because a bricklayer could have done that in about five minutes across the top there. And it took me hours and hours. And so everything I'm doing is gonna take a little bit longer. But everything is in the preparation. That's the most important part of any of this. It's about 80% of all of our time is just making sure that we've got everything set up properly. And that 20%, all the lovely bits, that's further down the line. So it can get a little bit um, demoralizing sometimes. And this week I've been up and down the stairs loads and loads of times and it's been incredibly hot, especially working in this area here where the sun's bouncing off the walls and getting these boards up because they're an awkward size. They're not very heavy, but they are an awkward size. And of course, with that flooring down there, made it really difficult. So this morning we had a deliverer of stones and sand. So we were ready to get the concrete mixed up. But I'm just standing here now and I thought, oh, although it's a perfect day to be doing this with the cloud here blocking that sun, um, my body just says, no, I don't want to do it. So I'm going to listen to my body because I didn't in the past and I paid the price for that. Hence the bus. It's so lovely to be able to step away from the environment you're working in. And although we're over here in the village and the previous houses I was in, the house is sleeping in or around them and I could never switch off from it. And that's going to be the case back at home as well. So from this, I figured if I don't um, stop now, then because my mind's going to be wandering, I could make a few mistakes. And obviously, given that all this wood now is drying out and it's getting very fragile, that I could make a mistake. And obviously, that's something that I don't want to do and I don't want to injure myself. So I'm going to call it a quits for this week and uh, start afresh on Monday. Next week, we'll get that ring being completely finished and we will get the roof on the following week. So that's reassuring. And once that's done, we're heading more towards that 20% and we'll start seeing some progress. Anyway, I'm gonna leave you on that note. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Take care of yourself, stay happy, stay positive, and uh, I'll see you next week. Take care, bye-bye.